Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun! Gentle rays danced on the carefully laid out floral dress and sandals resting on the bed. A trembling hand reached out, fingers grazing the soft fabric with a mix of reverence and trepidation. Today's the day, came a whisper, barely audible, even in the quiet of the room. Leah stood before the mirror, studying her reflection. The person staring back was both familiar and new, a blend of past and present, of hidden desires and newfound courage. She smoothed down the dress, adjusting the fit, her movements deliberate and careful. You can do this, she reassured herself, taking a deep breath. It's time. The drive to the festival grounds was a blur of anxious anticipation. Fields of green rushed past the car windows, a stark contrast to the turmoil of emotions swirling within. As Leah pulled into the makeshift parking area, the festive atmosphere enveloped her. The air was filled with the mingling scents of fried foods, fresh produce, and sweet cotton candy. Stepping out of the car, Leah felt exposed, vulnerable. The floral dress fluttered slightly in the breeze, a physical reminder of the leap she was taking. She closed her eyes for a moment, steadying herself. One foot in front of the other, she murmured, willing herself forward. The festival was already in full swing. Colorful banners fluttered overhead, and the chatter of excited voices filled the air. Leah's heart raced as she approached the entrance, acutely aware of every glance, every double-take from passers-by. Well, if it isn't... Oh! A familiar voice caught Leah off guard. It was Mrs. Thompson, her high school English teacher. The older woman's eyes widened in surprise, then softened with recognition. Carter? Is that you, dear? Leah felt a lump form in her throat. This was it. The first test. Hello, Mrs. Thompson, she managed, her voice wavering slightly. It's... it's Leah now, actually. There was a moment of silence that seemed to stretch for eternity. Then, Mrs. Thompson's face broke into a warm smile. Leah, she repeated, as if testing the name. It suits you, dear. You look lovely. Relief washed over Leah like a tidal wave. She hadn't realized how tense she'd been until that moment. Thank you, she said, her voice stronger now. That means a lot to me. Mrs. Thompson patted her arm gently. You be proud of who you are, Leah. Now go enjoy the festival. I heard the Johnsons have some spectacular peaches this year. With a grateful nod, Leah continued into the festival grounds. The encounter with Mrs. Thompson had bolstered her confidence, but she knew not everyone would be as accepting. As she wandered through the stalls, Leah found herself hyper-aware of the reactions around her. Some people did double-takes, their eyes lingering a bit too long. Others seemed not to notice anything different at all, greeting her with the same casual friendliness they always had. "'Hey there!' a cheerful voice called out. Leah turned to see Mike, an old classmate from high school, waving from behind a booth selling homemade jams. Carter, right? Man, it's been ages! Leah approached the booth, her heart hammering in her chest. Hi, Mike, she said, forcing a smile. It's... it's Leah now, actually. Mike's brow furrowed in confusion for a moment, before understanding dawned on his face. Oh, oh, I see. Well, uh, nice to see you, Leah. You want to try some strawberry preserve? My grandma's secret recipe. The interaction was awkward, but not unkind. Leah appreciated Mike's attempt at normalcy, even if his discomfort was palpable. She sampled the jam, 
praised its flavor, and moved on, feeling a mix of relief and lingering anxiety. As the day wore on, Leah encountered a spectrum of reactions. Some old acquaintances greeted her warmly, seamlessly using her new name and treating her no differently than before. Others were visibly uncomfortable, their smiles strained, and their conversation stilted. Carter? Is that you? A gruff voice called out as Leah browsed a vegetable stand. She turned to see Mr. Jenkins, an older farmer who had known her since she was a child. His weathered face was creased with confusion as he took in her appearance. Leah steeled herself. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. It's Leah now, actually. The old farmer was quiet for a long moment, his eyes searching her face. Then, to Leah's surprise, he nodded slowly. Leah, huh? Well, I'll be. That's a pretty name. And a pretty dress to go with it. Tears pricked at the corners of Leah's eyes. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins. That means a lot coming from you. Mr. Jenkins shrugged, a hint of a smile on his lips. Well, I may not understand all this modern stuff, but I know a good person when I see one. You've always been that, no matter what name you go by. Now, how about some of these tomatoes? They're the best crop I've had in years. As Leah continued through the festival, she felt a growing sense of empowerment. Yes, there were uncomfortable moments and disapproving glances, but there were also unexpected allies and moments of genuine acceptance. She paused at a craft stall, admiring a delicate handmade necklace. The vendor, a middle-aged woman Leah didn't recognize, smiled warmly. That would look lovely on you, dear. It matches your dress perfectly. Leah felt a rush of joy at the simple, unquestioning acceptance. She purchased the necklace, cherishing the normalcy of the interaction. As the afternoon wore on, Leah found herself at the edge of the festival grounds, near a small pond. She sat on a bench, taking a moment to process the whirlwind of emotions and experiences of the day. Mind if I join you? A voice asked. Leah looked up to see Emily, a girl she had known since elementary school, but had never been particularly close to. Sure, Leah replied, scooting over to make room. Emily sat down, her eyes fixed on the pond. For a while, they sat in silence, watching the ducks glide across the water. I think what you're doing is really brave, Emily said suddenly, her voice soft but sincere. I can't imagine how hard it must be. Leah felt a lump form in her throat. It is hard, she admitted. But it's also... freeing. To finally be myself. Emily nodded turning to look at Leah with a smile. Well, for what it's worth, I think Leah suits you, and I'm glad you felt safe enough to be yourself here. They continued to chat, the conversation flowing more easily than Leah could have imagined. As they talked, Leah realized that this day wasn't just about facing potential rejection or judgment. It was also about discovering unexpected support and forging new connections. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the festival grounds, Leah made her way back to her car. The day had been a roller coaster of emotions, filled with challenges and triumphs alike. She caught her reflection in the car window and paused. The person looking back at her was tired but smiling eyes bright with a newfound confidence. For the first time in a long while, Leah felt truly seen. As she drove home, Leah reflected on the day's events. Yes, there had been moments of discomfort and disapproval, but there had also been kindness, acceptance, and unexpected allies. 
She had taken a monumental step forward in her journey, and while she knew there would be more challenges ahead, she felt ready to face them. Pulling into her driveway, Leah took a deep breath. The festival was over, but her journey was just beginning. She stepped out of the car, her floral dress catching the last rays of the setting sun. With her head held high, she walked towards her front door, ready to embrace whatever came next. Inside, Leah kicked off her sandals and sank onto the couch, exhaustion and exhilaration mingling in equal measure. She reached for her phone, hesitating for a moment before opening her social media app. With trembling fingers, she typed out a post. Today, I took a big step. I attended our local festival as my true self, Leah. To everyone who showed me kindness and acceptance, thank you. Your support means more than you know. And to those who might be struggling to understand, I hope we can have open, honest conversations. I'm still me, just more me than ever before. She hit post before she could second-guess herself, then set the phone aside. Whatever responses came, she would face them tomorrow. For now, she allowed herself to bask in the accomplishment of the day. As night fell, Leah found herself unable to sleep, her mind replaying the events of the festival. She got up and walked to her closet, running her hands over the clothes hanging there, a mix of masculine and feminine attire. For so long, she had kept the feminine clothes hidden away, only wearing them in secret. Now, they hung proudly alongside the rest, a visual representation of her journey. She pulled out a photo album from the back of the closet, flipping through pages of memories. There was Carter, always smiling but with a hint of something hidden in his eyes. Leah traced the progression of photos, seeing the gradual changes, the growing confidence. You've come so far, she whispered to her past self. The next morning, Leah woke to the sound of her phone buzzing incessantly. With a mix of anticipation and dread, she checked her notifications. Her social media post had garnered a flood of responses. There were messages of support and love from friends and acquaintances. So proud of you, Leah. You looked beautiful yesterday. Thank you for sharing your truth with us. You're an inspiration. I'm honored to know you, Leah. Your courage is admirable. There were also confused and questioning comments. I don't understand. Is this a joke? What do you mean, true self? You've always been Carter to us. And inevitably, there were a few hurtful remarks. This is wrong. You're confused. You're just seeking attention. Leah read through each comment her emotions swinging wildly. The support buoyed her spirits, while the negative comments stung. But she refused to let the negativity overshadow the positive steps she had taken. With determination, she began to respond to the comments. To the supportive ones, she expressed her heartfelt gratitude. To the confused, she offered patience and openness to discussion. And to the hurtful ones, she chose not to engage directly, instead posting a general response. I understand this may be confusing or challenging for some. I'm the same person you've always known, just living more authentically now. I'm open to having respectful conversations with anyone who wants to understand better. As she finished responding, her phone rang. It was her parents'. Leah had come out to them privately a few months ago, but they were still adjusting to the idea. With a deep breath, she answered. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Leah? Her mother's voice was tentative, but warm. We saw your post, and we heard about the festival. Leah's heart raced. Oh? Her father's gruff voice chimed in. We just wanted to say, we're proud of you, kiddo. 
It can't have been easy, but you did it. Tears welled up in Leah's eyes. Thank you, she managed to choke out. That means everything to me. We're still learning, her mother added. But we love you, and we want you to be happy. That's what matters most. The conversation continued, filled with questions, reassurances, and ultimately, love. As Leah hung up, she felt a weight lift from her shoulders. Her parents' acceptance was a crucial piece of the puzzle, one she had been unsure of until now. Energized by the positive start to her day, Leah decided to venture out again. She chose another sundress, reveling in the freedom to express herself openly. As she walked down the street to the local coffee shop, she held her head high, ready to face whatever reactions came her way. The bell chimed as she entered the coffee shop. A hush fell over the room as heads turned to look at her. Leah felt her cheeks flush, but she forced herself to walk confidently to the counter. Good morning, she said to the barista, a young man she didn't recognize. Could I get a latte, please? The barista smiled warmly. Of course. Name for the order? Leah, she replied, her voice strong and clear. As she waited for her drink, Leah became aware of whispered conversations around her. She caught fragments. Did you see? I heard. Is that really... Uh, it was uncomfortable, but she reminded herself that this was part of the process. People would talk, but eventually, this would become normal. Latte for Leah! The barista called out. As she reached for her drink, a familiar voice called out, Leah! Over here! She turned to see Emily, the girl from the festival, waving from a table in the corner. Grateful for the friendly face, Leah joined her. I'm glad I ran into you, Emily said as Leah sat down. I wanted to tell you how much your post meant to me. My cousin came out as transgender last year, and seeing your bravery... It gives me hope for them. Leah felt a warmth spread through her chest. Thank you for telling me that. It means a lot to know that by being myself, I might be helping others too. As they chatted, Leah noticed the whispers in the coffee shop dying down. People returned to their own conversations, the novelty of her presence wearing off. It was a small victory, but a significant one. After finishing her coffee and saying goodbye to Emily, Leah decided to take a walk through the town park. As she strolled along the path, she encountered more familiar faces. Some greeted her warmly, using her new name without hesitation. Others seemed unsure, their greetings awkward but not unkind. An elderly couple on a bench smiled as she passed. "'You look lovely, dear,' the woman called out. That dress is perfect for this weather. Leah beamed, touched by the simple, genuine compliment. As she rounded a corner, she came face to face with a group of her former high school classmates. There was a moment of shocked silence as they recognized her. Carter? One of them, a guy named Tom, asked incredulously. Leah took a deep breath. It's Leah now, actually. The group exchanged glances, clearly unsure how to react. Finally, one of the girls, Amanda, stepped forward. Leah, she said, testing out the name. It's good to see you. You look happy. The tension in the air dissipated slightly. While not everyone in the group seemed comfortable, they made an effort to include Leah in their conversation asking about her life and sharing updates about their own. As Leah continued her walk, she reflected on these interactions. Each one, whether positive or challenging, was a step towards normalizing her true identity in her community. It wasn't always easy, but it was necessary. 
Returning home, Leah found a package on her doorstep. Opening it, she found a beautiful scarf with a note from Mrs. Thompson, her former teacher. Dear Leah, I saw this and thought of you. Your bravery is an inspiration. Never let anyone dull your light. With admiration, Mrs. Thompson. Leah hugged the scarf to her chest, overwhelmed by the gesture. As evening fell, Leah sat on her porch, watching the sunset. The past two days had been a whirlwind of emotions and experiences. She had faced her fears, encountered both acceptance and resistance, and through it all, she had remained true to herself. She thought about the journey ahead. There would be more challenges, more difficult conversations, more moments of doubt, but there would also be joy, authenticity, and the freedom to live as her true self. Leah smiled as she looked out at the darkening sky. Tomorrow was a new day, and she was ready to face it as herself, holy and unapologetically Leah. Thanks for watching my girlies! Be sure to check out Patreon for more!